Good morning, Twin Flames. This is Karen from Man of Delight. Thank you for your support of my channel, for the love you show me, for the positivity, the beautiful, wonderful comments and emails I receive. Thank you for the wonderful donations um, and those booking readings and sessions with me, um, supporting my work within the Twin Flame community and um, it just shows that you value um, the work that I do, all that of my dedication. Sorry, knocked my water over. Um, my dedication to the Twin Flame journey and to helping twins come into union. I so, so appreciate all of your support. Um, this is a new moon in Gemini reading we have coming up on Thursday. Thursday, yes, sorry. And um, we have a new moon in Gemini. Gemini is the sign of the twins. We have that coming up. And um, that will be um, at 3 Pacific. 5 Central and 6 Eastern Time on Thursday. And this is setting intentions, activation call for our new beginnings, for uh, activating the energy of the twin energy um, through Gemini. Um, that's like three, so I'm sticking them back in. Um, so I'll leave the information for that below if you would be interested in, in doing that. Um, our calls have just been absolutely phenomenal, wonderful. Um, the Q&As are wonderful. Everyone gets to connect. Everyone gets to see everyone else that's on the call. If you choose to, you can do video or, or just call in. Um, but you get to ask questions and um I pull cards sometime. I don't believe for the new moon calls. Um, there's no meditation that um, that I'll have ready for that. So um, I do offer to pull cards within the Q and A. Just if you just need a card, needs some extra guidance. Cornucopia card eleven popped out. Beautiful, beautiful. That's a twin flame card. Cornucopia is abundance in all areas. Beautiful. Definitely a twin flame card for me. Okay, so I'm going to pull um, Oracle cards. I have some new cards coming, and I was hoping that Amazon would deliver them early. I have two new decks coming. One is a life purpose deck. Um, I've been getting more requests for um, mission and career and life purpose reading so I did get that so that's an extra deck that I'll have for those readings and then I have another one universal wisdom I think is what it is beautiful card so I was hoping they'd get here so I could use those but I am going to pull oracle cards so first I like to start off with energy cards and I would like an energy card please for the divine masculine for this new moon in Gemini May 2017. What is the energy of the Divine Masculine? Energy for the Divine Feminine, please. I'll get these cards. I hate this. That's why I have, if you were ever wondering why I have red rubber bands. I can't even see this very well. Red rubber bands around there so they won't knock on the wall because this table's 
off. So <laughs> when I'm doing this, you know, by by moves the table a little bit, so there's clinking on the wall. So I put those rubber bands there, and they're just not working. So I need more rubber bands or thicker rubber bands or something. So we'll stop doing it. But I just pulled them out from the wall. But for time for space, I need them. I need them up against the wall. So I work from here and everything. So energy for the divine feminine, please. Thank you. Let me get these where you can see it. See what I mean? It's not a very big table, so. And I gotta have all my goodies, my shells, my crystals, my rocks I've found, my feathers, you know. Gotta have that all set up over here. Do I want another one of these for the union or do I want to move on? Energy for the union. Not all those, please. Energy for the union. Oh my goodness. They're like... Energy for the union for twin flames, new moon in Gemini, May 2017. to do a vintage wisdom oracle card let's do one for the masculine please vintage wisdom oracle for the masculine Slick. For the masculine, please. Vintage wisdom. What is your message? Thank you. Is page wisdom for the feminine? What is your message? Thank you. challenge what is the challenge for the divine masculine new moon energies may 2017 queen of swords wanted to come out but there's a couple other cards behind it so we'll just keep that in mind Challenge, Divine Masculine. Please, Spirit. Angels of Love and Light. True Guides. Divine. Source. Son of Masters. For our highest good.
One thing I felt guided to do this morning that I'll tell you real quickly. Um, I felt guided to ask for um, extra protection. <clears throat> Not out of any fear or that anything has the victory over our situation, but just out of um, wisdom to ask for extra protection. It's so close and things are, energies are picking up. Um, you know, just anything that, any disruptor energy that would try to prevent union or come in between just asking for extra protection, that, that negative energy, that lower vibrational energy, um, all of that. Just go through the spill and ask that all of those attachments and all of those, anything would be, um, that you would be protected from it. Challenge for the feminine. Um, wisdom of the oracle. For the masculine, please. Wisdom of the oracle for the masculine. Thank you. Wisdom of the oracle for the feminine. Thank you. And Keepers of the Light. Twin Flames, New Moon in Gemini, May 2017. What is your guidance? Ascended Masters, Keepers of the Light. For our highest possible good, clarity and guidance for the Twin Flames, May 2017. May 2017. What is your guidance? Okay, that one for sure. Anyone else? Any other message? Archangels, the two archangels. What's your messages? Thank you. There's one. The others, thank you. And let's pull one outcome. One outcome card, please. One outcome card. I've seen two. I just want one. We'll see if that other one comes out. Outcome, please. 
What are the challenges and lessons for the new moon? What is the outcome? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Hyped up energies. And I don't pull it until I'm 100% sure. Because these readings are important. Oh, just one, please. Thank you. And bottom of the deck. Oops. I had to look at it. The world. Overall energy for this new moon in Gemini reading. The world. And this is completion. This is being complete, being whole. This is the world, the world ahead of us. The world is our oyster. But this is definitely the completion of a cycle so that you can move forward, go out into the world. So this really speaks to me excuse me, of um, twins starting out anew, um, coming into union and um, starting out into the world. Um, I had someone who had a dream of me, um, and I was, <laughs> this is funny, but I was, um, I was Buddha. <laughs> and I was leading um, people, um, other other little Buddhas, and um, I looked at the person that was having the dream, and I said, "I'm here to save the world." And um, I just loved that dream, but that's really what us twins are here to do—not necessarily save it, but we are here to help. Um, usher in the brand new, um, the divine love paradigm, all of that. So um, we kind of are, but it reminded me of the show Heroes. I don't know if you, anyone's ever watched that, but I just was, I found it on YouTube and I was going to watch a couple of those. I, me and my daughter absolutely loved that show. We watched all the seasons. So yeah. Okay. So the world, we are here to save the world. We are here to help the world ascend. We are here for humanity and completing this cycle of our journey, complete a completion of the journey so that twins come into union to go then out into the world and to um, show our love and be the love, um, being a shining example is what I feel like this reading is representing. So that's beautiful. Energy of the Divine Masculine is action. Card 17. And when I see this card, and um, I really feel, well, it's 17 for sure. Um, and I know that 17 is quite a few people's union number, but 7 and 1 is 8, which is infinity. I feel like it represents um, abundance as well. So this is, and when I see the black and the white, um, I feel like that is representative also of the yin and the yang. That is the coming into balance. 
that is um, the Divine Masculine really taking action, um, looking maybe at um, some egoic things um, and balancing them out as well. So this is good. This is them moving. This is action, them taking action. Um, and I feel like, too, when I'm seeing that, that they, you know, more so they're seeing... Um, the opposite of the polarization, the opposite, the black, as what they don't want, and the white um, as the the pure, the true of and so they can see this more clearly that this is what they do want. So it's more about them taking action on their choices. Of you know you can you know what you want when you've been shown what you don't want like I don't want that I'm done with that I'm over that um, this is what I want and we've all made those decisions and when you speak that out you are letting the universe know what you do want and then the universe works to bring that to you I know when I first started out before I even knew I was on a journey that I had said that I had said that I had said what I didn't want. And basically what I said was I didn't want to be left behind. Like, you know, my daughter was leaving home and all of that. So that's where my... That's when I said... I'm taking the sweater off. I'm getting warm. Um, that's what I said. I don't want to be left behind. I don't want this. And this is what I do want. Okay. For the feminine, this is storm warning. Um, it was in reverse. Normally these cards don't show up in reverse for me. But this one was in reverse. And I know that this has reversal meanings. So I feel led to read what that reversal meaning means for storm warning. But it's 10. Also... Uh, 10 is representative of the ending of a cycle as well. So the Divine Feminine is working towards um, ending a cycle. This card in reverse indicates that the dark times are behind you. Or at least beginning to fall away. You can take heart that sunny skies and better times are on the horizon. This new light may bring a time of reassessment and redirection for you. Let yourself consider where you want to go next. Also spend some time reflecting on the difficulty that has passed and what the lesson was for you. Whether it is about self-love or empowerment, remember to bring these intentions and the lessons learned into your bright new path. The affirmation is, I have the power to overcome any obstacle. No matter what is going on, I can be strong, confident, and self-directed. So this is a beautiful message in the reverse. Um, upright, it just means, it's just saying that there could be something possibly ahead. But it is in the reverse, so I do feel like this is representative of the difficult times are behind us. This is the completion of a cycle. We are stepping over into the new. And more importantly, not to take any of that with us. Not to take any of that with us. Let it all go. There is no reason to hash over the past. There is no reason to detail and refine any anything um, that happened and to hash over it or to make someone feel guilty or you know because you feel like you were unjustly treated or you felt like you were misunderstood moving forward is you just don't take any of that along for the ride you have it was all part of the journey and we're moving forward moving forward and that is the energy of uh, Gemini Gemini is a very light energy it's a very fun and playful energy that's coming in and it is crucial at this time because it really really is about not um, 
not being serious, not saying, you know, oh, well, I was, you know, and you did this, and, and I felt this way, and, and bringing all of that up, it's like, I'm moving past this, let's just move forward, let's just have a good time, let's just laugh, let's just play, and that's what that card, I feel, really is representing for us. Oh, yes, because this is the combined energy for the union, and it's the door to romance. Card 33, love 33, see 33 all the time. Door to romance, this is the energy, and this is um, a new beginning in love. Romance that's, that's brewing in the air, it's just behind the door. Um, and I feel like for both the masculine and the feminine, this is doors. There's doors are represent to me opportunities. So I feel like whenever you see an open door, um, you have the opportunity to step through that door. So this is about the masculine choosing and also the feminine choosing. And I feel like, it's just you simply choosing the love. Just like I said with the storm warning card. It's just simply you choosing the love. To remember the love. To want to embrace the romance. To unlock your heart. To believe in the love. To choose it. To say, yeah, I have spent a lifetime seeing what I don't want. The relationships I don't want. I, I don't want to love like that. That's not true love to me. That doesn't look real to me. That's not unconditional. I don't want that. What I do want is my love story. My love of a lifetime. And so here's the door that's being offered to both the feminine and the masculine. To step into it. It's that simple. Manifesting it is that simple by saying, I'm going to step through this door. I manifest this. This is what I want. This door to romance. And on the other side of that is this lake with this green greenery. I can't see what that is that's above there. Oh, that's the key hanging down. There's the key to the heart right there. But that's a lake with some birds and all of that. So this is a very blissful, peaceful, serene setting behind there. Um, but you have the key to unlock your heart. And that's just simply saying, I want it. I manifest it. I'm going for it. And that's for the masculine as well. Wisdom, vintage wisdom oracle for the masculine. Ooh, love. Intuition. So this is about the masculine um, tuning more into their intuition. It's there for them. If you have any doubts that your masculine uh, is intuitive or is getting intuitive messages, it's time to let that go as well because they are. They do have intuition. I feel like they are following their intuition and they're getting... Um, more and more intuition as it goes along, pushing them um, down the path towards their true soul's essence um, and helping them to release more and more of that that they don't want. Um, I feel like they've made that decision. This is what I don't want. I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. No, I don't like that. No. That's not for me. Um, this is what I want. So that's them choosing themselves. And so they're being shown what they can do to move forward. And I feel like they really are tapping into it. For the Divine Feminine. Oh my gosh. Enchantment. And guess what? I've never pulled this card enchantment so I'm going to have to read what this means but that is clearly the feminine there okay 
Let me look at this card real fast and see what messages I get from just looking at it. Um, that's a mermaid. Okay. That is the sea. There is the moon there behind. There's a lighthouse behind there. Enchantment. Enchantment speaks to me mystical, magical, um, enchanting is enticing. Um, someone who is enchanting is alluring. Um, Yeah, I'm going to read what exactly it's saying. I found it in the book here. It is a beautiful mermaid. Mermaids have long been considered figures of enchantment. They use their seductive beauty to beguile sailors, sometimes to their death. But without the sparkling grace of enchantment, the world would be dull and in a colorful place. Its delicate aura impassions the spirit and animates the most fantastical dreams and ambitions. Enchantment beckons us to our fullest potential, can all, but can also destroy us if we exist solely to live in the shadow of its spell. Is the siren showing you some new way of seeing or is she warning of rocky shores which her light does not illuminate just as the presence of enchantment can delight this card also calls for strength of character to discern wise decisions from superficial whims only you can determine whether you have been bestowed with a blessing to enjoy or if you are in danger of being swept away by the tide of unconscious desire or conditional responses. If you feel safe within the spell of enchantments, go ahead, dive in and explore. But if you are unsure, remember the far-sighted lighthouse. Think of the plight of those unfortunate sailors and keep your feet firmly rooted on terra firma. Solid ground. Um, so I feel like with this saying that a mermaid was seductive, okay, was seductive and alert sailors sometimes to their death because um, they would be so overcome with this magical, this beauty, this um, seductive nature of this mermaid um, who was luring them into the seas and taking them underwater and then they would drown, essentially is what they're saying about um, this enchantment. And how it ties into the Divine Feminine right now, I'm feeling, is about... <sighs> what not to do. Okay? Um, not to... to release that... Um, that need to be that. This is definitely Old Feminine. This is definitely part of that princess code, which is part of the old feminine. Um, and I do have a teaching coming up regarding it again. Um, and we also have that webinar, Jen and I have that webinar available, releasing the old feminine template. Um, I feel like there are so many still stuck in that. And um, yeah, there's so many still stuck in the old template. Just absolutely, period. And I keep getting downloaded information regarding that 
And so what I wanted to do was um, talk a little bit about what the old masculine looks like and how the feminine um, leads them out of that and what you can do. So this, I, this is the old feminine. This is that seductive um, using sex for your highest good, using sex to get what you want, using sex to uh, keep the man around, um, luring them in. Um, so I feel like this is really, or this is, you know, the wisdom oracle. So this is telling the feminine that if you have that as an aspect of your shadow side, if you have not released that old feminine templating of I can get what I want because um, he wants to sleep with me attitude. And there are several feminine that still have that templating. Okay. That has to go in order for you to step into the new. Um, and this is what they are encouraging uh, some of the old feminine. So I, I obviously, since this card came up, I obviously have uh, maybe several viewers that may be stuck in that and this this wisdom card and any type any type of wisdom comes up or any type of teaching comes up through anyone who genuinely wants to teach and see you move forward on your journey it's no judgment that's attached to any of this this is just a saying this is how you can move forward in your journey this is how you are going to step into the new if you want the new I mean, if you still want to stay stuck in this paradigm where um, um, you use sex for that um, to get what you want or to lure them in, um, you know, like, um, let me post this beautiful selfie of me half naked and, and see if he can resist. If there's any of those thoughts, anything, that's, that's a shadow that needs to be released. Because that, with the feminine releasing all of those old templates, you then allow the masculine to release his. Because what happens is they rebel. They rebel against that. And that is an opposite polarization where, okay, you want to withhold it? Okay, and I don't even have to finish the sentence, but you, you get where, where I'm going with that. And that's old templating that we're here to bust wide open and show people how to unconditionally love each other. That's what these twin flame unions are about. So that has to be released. And I feel like this wisdom card is coming out to say some of you still hold this templating. Some of you still think it's about your 3D sexual prowess, seductiveness that is going to get your man and keep your man or your woman, your divine masculine, whoever they, whoever they embody, that that's going to get you what you need. And it's not about that. And it's also not about your outward appearance either. Um, yes, we want to be beautiful for our partner. Yes, we want to be um, desired by our partner. But if you use that in a negative light, you know, if, you, if you're saying I want to do that um, for them and there is no ulterior motive and there is no need attached to that, that's fine. But if you're using it as some sort of control, some sort of getting what you want, then that's shadow and it's old and you have to release it. So good wisdom from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck for the Divine Feminine. If that's there, it has to go. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I suggest you get our webinar. Um, it talks about it. And it might be a good thing for you. Challenge for the Divine Masculine is the Ace of Swords. This is about a new beginning. It's about uh, standing in your truth. Um, so it's about that 
facing the truth and stepping into this this new beginning it also the swords also represent to me um, a cutting away of something cutting something out so that would mean that there is something um, left that it still needs to be cut away but they're in this action state for sure of of doing those things and just what's posing as a challenge for them is to fully step into this new beginning that there is something still that needs to be cut away um that needs to be cut away cut out um Something that just still has to go in order for them to step fully into their truth and step fully into this new beginning that's being handed to them by the divine. This is the hand of the divine. So this new beginning is laid out before them. The divine has said, we've heard what you've said and we see that you don't want this and that you do want this and here's what you have to do to do it and so it's them taking action so the fact that they have the action card is their energy I really fully trust and believe that they will meet this challenge that we have the victory anyway okay it does come together it does come together we're just watching it unfold and we're just seeing them do this it's just a matter of the timing um, you know, what all will have to be endured um, before they finally cut the rest of it away, before they fully step into their truth, um, is, is just what we are have yet to see, um, you know, and how long it's going to take, and, you know, those little things. Challenge for the Divine Feminine, the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is a deliverer, uh, a messenger, but you see he's offering a cup there, and the cup has a fish in it, so that's um, a gift. When these were made, that's, um, you know, that was kind of what was offered. If someone had a gift or something, it was most likely food that they were offering as a gift, so that's, you know, the time frame that this card was made in. So this is the challenge for the Divine Feminine, and that is to fully come in and offer this gift of love. Cups represents love. Um, delivering that message of love. So I feel like that really ties in with this message. So I'm speaking to, um, I'm speaking to, I feel like a large group of the divine feminine right now. Your challenge is to realize and offer this love. Some of you are maybe withholding love. Um, you know, you may be withholding it. You may be saying, no, no, not until I see something positive coming from his side. Not until he uh, admits what he did wrong. Not until um, I can see some positive movement on his side. Not until he calls me. Not until, nope, can't have it. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to be loving. I'm not going to be nice. I'm not going to um, send him love or healing. So I feel like there's that state that a lot of the Divine Feminine are in. And that is what this new moon in Gemini really is talking about as far as getting rid of all that old Completing this cycle, getting rid of all that, stepping over into the world. Are you here for the world? Are you here so you can be on top of the world, stepping into the completion to um, uh, 
the success of the world, your new world, your new life, Your rewards, this is reward as well, joy. This is rewards for, for a job well done. Are you going to step through the door to this love? Or are you sitting back and withholding? And I really feel like with this being in reverse, it's saying it, it can get rocky for you. It can, it can get, it can get rocky for you. Really, the choice is yours. You can either choose to accept that this card is saying that all of that difficulty is behind you, and you're going to move forward and step through the door to love, and choose to love, and choose to forgive, and let all the rest of that go, or you can continue. And go through another tornado. Go through, go through some more. It really is up to you. It's like what I was shown before um, with, with, with some things that was going on. Is There's some that are straying off the path because they're still holding on to whatever it is. A belief system, unforgiveness. And you have to let go. You have to let go of it. All you have to say it doesn't matter. I surrender. I'm not in control of this. I relinquish all control and I let go of whatever whatever it is. So that's the challenge. To be the messenger of love. Okay. Um, Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Oracle deck Mending Mending for the Divine Masculine So this is about <sighs> Sorry <laughs> um, This is about healing this is about mending fences. This is about um, forgiveness. Letting go of the past. So this is um, for the masculine as well. I feel like there could be some things that the masculine may have been holding on to. And the wisdom for them is to mend those fences to offer um, maybe um, an olive branch of some sort that, you know, um, whatever's happened in the past. The card is 52, which is 7, which is 7 represents the right path. Um, I'm just going to read a little bit about What the book says is mending. Forgiveness, making amends and healing after arguments. You've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary if you're to move forward. Separate or together, you and the other person are still experiencing the effects of a heart of a hurt that is impacting everything you do, even if you're not aware of it. The energy needs to clear. What must you do to bridge this gap? Closing your heart is not the answer. You have the power to heal this wound. Ask yourself, what would love do? Only good will come. A forgiveness and an honest redress so this is the wisdom as well for the masculine is to let go that's the message let go this cycle is ending forgive mend fences make amends 
let go of that hurt, let go of whatever um, is holding you back from moving forward. And that might be really what um, they're going through. That might be this last final thing that needs to be cut away is um, that they've absolutely closed their heart. That they've, you know, there is some things that have hurt them. They have been hurt. There is some um, unforgiveness towards maybe women in general. Women that have been this seductive, uh, temptress, um, that has withheld love from them and they have to get over that forgiveness or get over that and forgive. Um, so this, this might be what's still going on with them is in their heart of, um, letting go. But I do feel like they're taking action on it and I do feel like they are being shown and I do feel like this new beginning, stepping into this new beginning is just about them um, doing that and releasing that. Releasing that unforgiveness that they have. Um, and it could be someone in the past that's done that to them. Not necessarily their divine feminine. But then, then again, it, it would be some divine feminine. So, um, releasing that. Okay. Um, so here's where that polarization comes in of the feminine here who, who has been this, um, the withholder of love that has hurt their masculine. There's that polarization of the old. Um, they withhold and the masculine then says, okay, bye. And they close off. They close off their heart. They, they shut it down. They rebel. So there's that, that energy there that, that has to be done away with. Yeah. For the feminine. Blessed. Oh. Yes. So this is... I feel... Um, this, this card is 22. This is a twin flame card to me, 100%. 11 and 11 is 22. It is about that, um, being blessed. Uh, that your, your love life and everything is blessed. So I will read that at the end to help. We have, yes. We have Kuan Yin, care and compassion. Choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved and offer a helping hand. Okay. And then I think we got this last time about expecting miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. So that is more about you choosing love, choosing compassion for the masculine. Uh, and the masculine choosing the love and compassion for their feminine. Um, trusting in that love, believing in that love, and expecting the miracles to come out of that. And then we have breathe and courage. So breathe is about <sighs> releasing old patterns. There it is. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. So this is about releasing. Breathing through and releasing anything that you're holding on to. And this is be courageous and standing up for your beliefs. So that's about um, pushing forward. Having the courage to let go, um, having the courage to um, release all that hurt, outcome, four of cups, 
So this is about the three cups there. And not seeing this last this last cup not seeing that last cup there that's being offered to you so as an outcome this is this is a potential outcome all outcomes are potential so this again I feel is like a warning you have these three cups of love and you're and you're focusing on those three cups not as if they're missed opportunities but you're you're focused on them and you're seeing their lack that those aren't good enough and then you're being offered this fourth cup by the divine that's the hand of the divine again who's handing you that love or this could be your divine partner handing you that love and you are not seeing it You're restless. Um, and not focused on where your attention needs to be focused. So I feel like that is also, this outcome card is a warning. That um, not to miss this opportunity. Not to miss the, the love that's being offered to you. So this is definitely about offering of love and not missing the opportunity for that love. I feel like it's really saying it's in your hands. This is in your hands. You can choose to expect miracles to to offer love and compassion to remember that only love is real to have the courage to to stand up for it to walk through that door so it's really saying you we all have the opportunity here. This is the ending of a cycle. This is your reward. This is um, we have the opportunity to come out of this cycle and move into into the new. And this is really telling um, the divine feminine that you are blessed. This is blessed. You are moving toward a deepening of intimacy in a unique and sacred partnership. You know you are meant to make this connection, this union, blessed by the divine. It will bring transformation and beauty to the world. This is also a sign that even more important, you're being called to a deeper intimacy with yourself and spirit. With this new development, you will see evidence of grace in your life. So, Twin Flame card, a divine partnership, here for the world. Here's the world card, which is the, the uh, overall energy. I feel like it's really encouraging us to see the bigger picture. It is blessed. We're being called to a deeper intimacy within ourselves. And uh, within ourselves is, is that love. Um, and with that, I'm going to sign off. Um, it really is about making some positive choices. Um, stepping into that, stepping through the door of romance, and it's going to cut me off. Um, I hope this resonates, and I hope you will heed what it's saying. If you need me, my information is below. Namaste. I love you.